Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing my favorite video of the month, my Roll the Dice TBR game. But before we get into rolling the dice, a quick reminder, if you didn't already know, I run a sci-fi fantasy book club on my channel called Shelf Space, and every month we feature a different sci-fi or fantasy book and a different guest host. This month we will be reading The City We Became by N.K. Jemisin, and our guest host is Kaylani from Kaylani Simply Me, whose channel I will link down below. She is awesome if you haven't already checked her out. So this is definitely going to be one of the books I am reading. And if you've already read this book, Booked and Busy, which is one of my favorite channels, she has awesome fantasy recommendations. She actually just started a book club of her own called the Busy Bee Book Club. So cute, I love that name. So I'm gonna also link her channel and her live show down below because her live show is actually taking place, I believe on August 1st. So if you wanna check that out and be a part of the live show, if you've already read this book, definitely go do so. I definitely wanna join that book club for some of the future months. So if you want to join another book club or her choices just appeal to you more for the book selections, definitely check out her channel and her book club link down below. And one more quick thing. So this month I have found myself in an overly stressed situation where I have started too many series. I've been really good about finishing series I started in previous years. However, I've also started a lot of series this year and have not been the best about finishing them. So I am now in the middle of like a dozen series. It's really bothering me. So this month's whiteboard that I'm going to roll on is going to look a lot different. Usually I have different color coded categories for different genres, but this month I am actually just going to put like sequels on the whiteboard because I have to get through some of these sequels. It is such a problem. So that is this month's priority is sequels. So without further ado, Let's just get into the roll. Starting with roll number one. And if you didn't see that, it landed on number 10. Yay, I'm so excited this got rolled. I will be starting the month with the fifth season by N.K. Jemisin, long overdue. I was so excited to read it. And I replaced that with another sequel, Heart of Flames by Nikki Palpretto, which is the sequel to Crown of Feathers. So we will do roll number two. Number six, that is The Time of Contempt by Andrzej Sapkowski. This is the second book in the Witcher series. So this will be my second book. And I have replaced that with A Heart So Fierce and Broken by Bridget Kemmerer, the sequel to A Curse So Dark and Lonely. So let's do roll number three. Number three, that is Shorefall by Robert Jackson Bennett. You guys know how much I loved Foundry Side, so I'm so excited to finally be getting to Shorefall. All right, so since we've gotten through now all of the sequels that I wanted to include on the board, I'm going to include a contemporary standalone book called The Mothers by Britt Bennett. It's one that I really want to read soon, so that will be now on number three, and let's do roll number four. Number one. That is True Life by Jay Kristoff, the final book in his Lifelike series. Yeah, it's just called the Lifelike series. I actually really, really enjoy this YA sci-fi series, so I'm excited to see how it concludes. All right, and I replaced that with another non-fantasy book, and I added a little key since we're starting to add new colors now, and I added a thriller, the Breakdown by B.A. Paris, which is the same author as Behind Closed Doors, which is one of my favorites. So let's do roll number five. That is number two, which is The Phoenix Empress by K. Arsenault Rivera. So that will be book number five. I replaced that with Things You Save in a Fire by Catherine Center, uh, one that I've also been wanting to get to for a while now. So we will do the last roll, roll number six. Number five, that is Holy Sister by Mark Lawrence, the third and final book in the Book of the Ancestor trilogy. So I will be concluding this trilogy next month. And when we come back next month uh, to do another Roll the Dice game, this board will look a lot more colorful again. I just wanted to get through a lot of those sequels and fantasies. 
to try to catch up with some of those series. So I feel like this has been good for this month and I now have space on my TBR for some other books that may be a part of some secret challenge videos. All right, so this month's TBR is a, is a little bit lighter than my previous TBRs because I have a couple of secret TBR videos that I'm gonna do, but I'm really excited about what I rolled. So first of all, Shorefall by Robert Jackson Bennett. Did you all know that I liked Foundry Side? Is that something you already knew about me? I've only discussed it on like every video for the past month. I love Foundry Side. I am so unbelievably excited to get into Shorefall. I have heard that it's just as good, if not better, than Foundry Side. So yes, I'm so excited. I can't wait to get back into this series and get back in this world with Sanjia and Clef and the whole crew. I love it. I'm so excited. I will finally also be finishing out <laughs> I will also be finishing out the Book of the Ancestor trilogy by Mark Lawrence, so I really liked the second half of Grey Sister a lot, so I'm really, really excited to finish off this series because it's only gotten better and better in my opinion, so I, I'm, I'm hopeful for a strong finish. The Phoenix Empress by K. Arsenal Rivera is another one that I'm really excited to get to because The Tiger's Daughter, the first book in this series, I really enjoyed. I was shocked how much I enjoyed it because it's most of it is told in second person and it's this Asian inspired fantasy world about these two warrior women and their coming of age stories and their love story and it's so epic and awesome. I love it and I'm so excited to continue on with the series and see where these characters go. I also have Truth Truth, <laughs> True Life by Jay Kristoff. Uh, this is the third and final book in the Lifelike series, his YA sci-fi series that I've been really enjoying. I'm surprised how much I've enjoyed this uh, because I've seen a lot of mixed reviews, but I really, really like this series. Uh, so I'm really excited to see how it leaves off. We have some very dark characters. Like Jay Kristoff is not afraid to make his characters very flawed and unlikable and dark. And I really appreciate that. So I'm excited to see where this goes. It's been full of twists and turns so far, so I'm expecting lots of that in this book as well. Also, The Time of Contempt by Andre Sapkowski, the second book in the Witcher series. So this will be the fourth book that I've read in the Witcher series because I read the two short story collections and I like the short story collections a lot. I liked Blood of Elves, but it was my least favorite so far that I've read in the Witcher universe just because it felt very much like it was setting up the rest of the series. So now that we've gotten that setup done, I'm really excited to see where we go. And I really, really like Ciri's character a lot and Yennefer. I was not sold on Yennefer in the short stories, but I really like Yennefer after Blood of Elves, so I'm really excited to see where she goes. And Geralt and Dandelion are just the best, so I'm excited to be back in this world. And then finally, last but certainly not least, we have The Fifth Season by N.K. Jemisin. Oh my goodness, I have been really, really looking forward to reading this, and it's super exciting that I rolled this the same month that I'll also be re reading The City We Became, so I can really compare and contrast how she builds her different worlds and kind of see the differences. I'm really excited about this one. I've heard amazing things. Uh, the only thing that makes me a little bit nervous is I've heard that the writing is very, very stylized and unique. And, and the second person doesn't bother me because I really liked the second person writing style in The Tiger's Daughter, but I'm just worried that I won't love the writing style. So I'm hoping, I, I have high hopes though. I'm really hoping that I love it. So we will see. I will definitely let you guys know what I think. So those are the books that I am planning to get to in the month of August. I would love to get to more. And if I somehow <laughs> find the time to also do the Tome Topple Readathon, that's something I still want to try to do. So if I have time to do it, I will definitely make an announcement video letting you guys know what my TBR will be uh, for that round. I just, I don't want to put more pressure on myself because I'm so afraid to start even more series on top of the ones I've already started. Editing Jesse here because I forgot my booktuber shout out again. <laughs> so today's booktuber shout out is going to go to Chidima Desiree. I hope I'm saying your last name right, Chidima. So her channel is so, so joyful. Like she is just such a joyful, enthusiastic, passionate personality that I love to watch because 
every time I see her joy on camera, it just makes me smile as the viewer. So if you just need like a joyful personality to watch and just get really great like young adult fantasy recommendations, she reads tons and tons of genres. So if you're also a reader of like so many different genres, please check out her channel because she's just such a delightful person and I can't recommend her videos enough. Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a thumbs up, a subscribe. I release new videos every Monday and Thursday. And until next time, bye.